so here we are at the Lincoln Charger again for yet another range test video. Uh, this time it's with our own car. Uh, we're really just wanting to try and increase the efficiency of this vehicle and see if we can get a bit more range. So what we've done is we've put insanely expensive Continental Eco Contact 6 tyres on it. They're uh, lower, pretty much the lowest rolling resistance we can get. Uh, and we're going to do the same range test we always do down to Timaru and back and see if we get a bit more Alrighty, distance. So we're uh, leaving the Lincoln Charger now. Just a quick uh, bit of information for those people who have not seen one of these uh, range tests so far. So uh, we're going to travel at 90 kilometers an hour just because that's the most sort of efficient speed that uh, doesn't drive you crazy and every other road user crazy. We're going to head through uh, the little town of Springston, through Leeston, through Rakaia, Ashburton, and then uh, ending up in Timaru. Then we're going to turn around and come back again. So uh, what we've done is we have recorded the mileages we did at various points in the other car, the other two cars, uh, and put them onto a spreadsheet which we have here. So as we trip down the road, as we go through different locations, we should be able to compare where we were at with the other two cars, which were almost identical, to where we're at with this car, to know whether we are actually getting a, uh, a better mileage. Alrighty, so here we are in uh, the beautiful little town of Leeston. We have done 20.8 k's, 378 left on the uh, gasometer, and we're at 95% state of health, state of charge, sorry. Just to compare, last time we were at 94% state of charge, we've done 21.2 kilometers, and there was 377 left on the uh, gasometer. So uh, a little bit of information about this car, just for people who haven't seen our uh, previous range test videos. Uh, this is a 2019 BYD E6. Um, it has a 82 kilowatt hour lithium phosphate battery, which is uh, really the main reason why I bought it. It is an ex-commercial taxi out of Singapore. Uh, I bought this particular car because it has very low mileage. Uh, your average Singapore taxi does about 75,000 k's a year, and this car has only 77,000 k's, not despite being three years old. Uh, it has a range of, uh, well the factory, the factory says 400, uh, I can get about 335 out of that out of one on the open road. So here we are on the uh, Rakaia Bridge. So this is the Rakaia River. This is my, uh, one of our really unique, Canterbury's unique graded rivers. Um, these are under quite a bit of threat now. And they are a unique habitat for quite a wide range of species. They are certainly suffering from obviously water quality with uh, agricultural runoff, but also incursions onto the banks. So there's been cases where, you know, there's basically been stock in the rivers. There's been, um, people are trying to push them back, push the rivers back boundaries further because the, the Braden rivers don't really have a, they don't have a set boundary that the, the river moves around all of the time. So from a legal point of view, trying to define where the river river is, is a bit complicated and uh, that obviously creates a bit of conflict. Okay, so here we are coming into Rakaia. We've done 47.4 kilometers. Uh, says we've got 351 left on the clock and uh, we're 88% state of uh, charge. Uh, previously, we were at 86% state of charge. We'd done 47.7 kilometers and there was 343 k's left on the gasometer. So here we are in uh, sunny Ashburton. Uh, we have now done 75.2 kilometers with 82% uh, state of charge and there's 327 k's left on the good stometer. If I look at the previous trip, we were at 80% state of charge. We'd done 74.7 kilometers and there was 315 kilometers left on the gasometer. It's really too early to say anything because we don't know about things like environmental conditions. I mean, quite possibly uh, we've got a tailwind. I don't actually know. But at the moment, we're tracking along well. So here we are entering Hines. So we've got 79% uh, state of charge. We've done 94.3 kilometers. We've got 311 k's left on the gasometer. Looking at the previous trip, we were... 75% state of charge at this point. We've done 93.8 k's and the guess on the set we had 296 k's remaining. So here we are, we're entering Winchester. We've done 128.5 kilometers. There's 279 kilometers. 
kilometres left on the uh, gasometer and we're at 71% state of charge. If I look at our previous trip, we were at 67% state of charge at this point. We did 126.6 kilometres and we had 262 kilometres left on the gasometer. So we are ahead at the moment. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean anything at this point. There's lots of environmental factors to take into account, but it'll be interesting to see where we are at the end. So for people who haven't seen the previous range tests, the, the reason we bought this car is mainly, I mean obviously the range, but was more importantly was the battery longevity. As someone who's owned Nissan Leafs a long time, uh, I've watched the batteries on my Leaf decline over the years, pretty dramatically, to the point where my car is no longer particularly useful. So, I saw a YouTube video the other day of one of these cars in uh, China. So, it was five years old, and it had done 717,000 kilometers. So, that's a car that has done nearly I think 400 k's a day that works out to be so that that car's being fast charged which is often said to be the worst thing you can do which is I think is a bit of a bit myself but every single day of the week for that whole time and according to the driver the car would still do over 300 k's to a charge and it was on its original battery so I mean I'll link to that YouTube video uh, in the comments here but that shows you, I mean, that's what you want. You want a battery that lasts for longer than your car does. And I, I mean, there's just no way that I'll ever get this car to 700,000 Ks. We're never going to get there. Alrighty, so here we are in Tamuka. Uh, we've done 133.7 Ks. There's 276 Ks left on the gasometer, which lies, of course. And we're 70% state of charge. If I look at our previous uh, Tamuka, we were at 66% state of charge, we'd had 132.8 k's, and there was 257 k's left on the gasometer. Alrighty, so here we are in central Timaru. We'll just park up. This is basically where we stopped last time. We've done 154.9 k's, we've got 258 k's left on the gasometer and 66%. So if I look at our last numbers at central Timaru, we were at 62%. We did 153.9 k's and we had 239 uh, left on the gasometer, so it seems like we are ahead. So catastrophically, an absolute disaster, the council have broken the water main at Picnic Cafe and so they've had to close just as we pulled up. I'm devastated. So here we are entering Winchester, we've done 182.3 k's, 232 k's left on the gasometer and we're in 60% state of charge. If I look at the last trip we were at 55% state of charge, we've done 179.2 kilometers and we were uh, 211 on the gasometer so we are still ahead of the previous so trip at the just moment. One anecdotal observation, I'm not entirely sure it is uh, relevant but our uh, Consumption per 100Ks has uh, declined, I think, from our previous trips. Previous trips, it did get as low as sort of 19 kilowatt hours per 100Ks, but mostly it sat around sort of 21. Uh, this trip, it's mostly been around 18, and sort of about 19.6 where it is now is actually the highest it's been so far. So uh, now we're entering high. Uh, done 216.5 k's. The gasometer says we've got 198 k's left and we're 52% state of charge. If we compare that to our last trip, we were at 46% state of charge. We'd done 213.4 kilometers and we had 170 left on the gasometer. So we are uh, still ahead by quite a lot. Quick, uh, just a quick 50% of state of charge update. So we've done 222.7 k's and we've got 191 left. The interesting thing is that uh, the last time we did this uh, at 50%, we'd only travelled 191 k's. So we've arrived in Ashburton now. Uh, we've done 231.2 k's. We've got 182 k's left on the gasometer. We are 48% left on the uh, charge. Uh, last time we had 42% left. We'd done 228 k's and there was 154 k's left on the gasometer. Alrighty, so just a quick update. Uh, I kind of noticed that our energy economy, our uh, yeah, average consumption of energy per 100 k's had climbed since 
just after we left Timaru and we've just stopped and had something to eat and uh, yeah we've got a significant headwind now so that will affect our results but we we still seem to be uh, well ahead of where we were before we had these tyres on the car. Alrighty so here we are in Rakaia we have done 263 kilometres we've got 150 k's left in the gasometer and we're at 41% state of charge uh, previously we were last trip we were at 32% state of charge we'd done 259.8 k's and we had 113 k's left on the gasometer Alrighty so we are back in Leeston and we've got 35% state of charge, we've done 288.6 k's and we've got 125 k's left on the gasometer. So looking back at our previous trip, we were at 24% state of charge, we'd done 285 kilometers and we had 77 on the gasometer uh, last time. So here we are back at the Lincoln Charger again um, and we have done We've done 311.8 k's, we've got 99 k's left according to the gasometer, and we're at 29% state of charge. So interestingly, if we look at the previous results, at this point, on our, we were at 17% state of charge, we had done 308 k's, and the gasometer said 70 kilometers remaining. So we are a fair way ahead of that. It'll be really interesting to see how much further we can go with that last little bit of battery. A, uh, a quick video because this is where we stopped with 5% state of charge last time. So we got to 335 k's and then we, we basically stopped because the car showed zero range and 5% state of charge. So now we're at 335 k's but we've still got 22% state of charge and the car thinks it's got a range of 70 k's still. Alrighty, so now we're really in uncharted territory. We just started to, thought we'd take a quick video because now we've done 350 k's to the charge and it's still got 18% and it's still showing 55 k's left on the thing. Uh -huh. Alrighty, so we've still got 10% battery remaining and we've done 380 k's. This is just madness. Back at the Lincoln uh, New World, we have got zero Ks on the clock and 6% state of charge. And uh, this is where we finished our trip. Um, pretty impressively, down to the same point we did last time, we have got 390 Ks of range. I mean, that's incredible. That's a 20% increase on what we got without these tires. However, another E6 driver, who is uh, much more of a man than I could ever be, has told me that I am a wuss and I need to drive this car until it's properly flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to set off again quietly around the block and we're going to drive this car until it's got 1% battery left. And uh, I guess we'll see how far we get. Uh, worst comes the worst, we've got a Nissan Leaf here and a tow rope and we will tow it back here. Alrighty, so uh, we are going to return to the charger now. We're up two percent, but um, throttle response is getting a bit a bit sketchy. Uh, it's in whatever the BYD equivalent of turtle mode is. So I feel it's time. Four hundred and six point six kilometres to a charge. That is more than BYD say it can do. So BYD originally said that this car could do 400 k's and people hassled them a bit because uh, they could only get 370 out of it driving it like this. We've just got 406 to 2%. We could if we eked it out probably get to 410 but uh, I'm happy. I mean that there gets me all the way to Wellington no worries at all that is an incredible result from where i'm standing so there you go just with a change to good tires and obviously driving like a nana we have managed to make this a 400k range car i mean that is amazing just by changing to a good tire i mean I can't believe the increase in range. I mean, other than that, we've driven in basically the same way we did for every other tour drive. The only difference was the very last little bit, we were orbiting a couple of roundabouts, but we were doing 50 k's an hour, so that's fair. Right, and then we didn't want to get, and it was only the last couple of k's. 
other than that, it was all pretty much 90 k's an hour. There's a few 80k zones around here and obviously 50k through the towns, but amazing. And uh, the thing is with this car, it's a bit of a blank canvas. So it has the aerodynamics of a biscuit tin, uh, particularly underneath. It is like if you look at most modern cars, certainly EVs, they all have skid plates underneath them to make the bottom of the car nice and flat. There's a lot for aerodynamics. This car is terrible. It has big exposed cavities. The battery is basically directly in the airflow. So now that I've seen what can be achieved, I'm pretty keen to go further and build some skid plates. Possibly if we cover up the back of the rear wheels. So like a Citroen has, you know, the half of the wheels are covered. That gives you quite a bit of efficiency too. But still, I mean, just by spending $1,500 on these Continental Eco Contact tyres, we have dramatically increased the range of this car. That is incredible.